Hello everyone, today we're going to create the geometry for a two interconnected cylinders as you can see in this figure. If you remember that we started from workbench ANSYS and we just dragged fluent inside the box and then we would have the whole package for modeling. We can also change the name of the project here and also, if you remember that we just right click on geometry, go to properties and look at the option, which is here, analysis type and look at the type, which is the default is 3D and the this problem is also 3D. So we don't change it now for this problem. And then before going to the geometry, it's better to save the whole project. So going to desktop and here we can change the name interconnected cylinder okay and save it as a workbench project okay now it's saved so right click on geometry go to the second selection and we can start the geometry section just go back to the figure first you can see these two circles blue circles so it means that we need to draw two sketches to draw the whole geometry first we're gonna start from this cylinder okay for that one if I go through the XY plane and use this option to look at the face you remember that we talked about the scale bar and the unit the unit is uh, the default of the unit in fluent is meter but here what we need is inch so we can change the unit from here if you remember to inch now we have inch so the maximum one is 14.75 so okay that's fine for now 10 inch okay then we, we need a sketch in XY plane so create a sketch and go to sketching part in draw you can see the circle one because we need a circle let's say that we have a circle here if you remember by going to this option and coincidence option from here you can just move the center of the circle to the center of the coordinates okay and then we should go to dimensions and let's say that for example we have a diameter so keep the diameter select it and you have d1 which is the diameter first so you can change it here okay well let's uh, create the other sketch as well so this is first a sketch and if you want to um, draw another sketch it's going to be in XZ plane so going to XZ plane and we can look at the face and clicking here create another sketch here going to sketching part cylinder sorry circle you can all uh, also going here and so you can see that uh, the C shows that you're in this axis in this axis and P shows that you're in the center of the coordinates so we can just select that one okay so you can see the P and just draw the circle going to dimensions select the diameter and 
we would have another D diameter for this sketch. Okay, now we wanted to go and change the, so look at the 3D. Okay, if I just select both at the same time, so you can see both sketches. So what is the diameter of sketch one? Go to details of sketch one and see the diameter. The sketch one is four inch. So we have to change it to four. Okay. And the sketch two, it's uh, six inch. So we just change it to six. Okay. Now we have two sketches. Okay, one option to create the cylinder, the first cylinder from a sketch one, it's going to extrude here. Look at this extrude option. And you can see the preview of the cylinder here. It shows that uh, the cylinder it's going to create it in this way, which is the positive of um, the axis. So let's see the details of the extrude, extrude 1 here. So it's ask you which geometry. So we have to select a sketch 1 and apply. And you remember what I said about add material and add frozen in the previous session. So here, we, because the whole uh, interconnected cylinders has one um, material so we don't change it to add frozen. Another thing is uh, direction here. So you can see that's normal. And if you open this option, you can see that there are other options like reversed. If I click on that, you can see it's the reversed uh, direction of the Z, which is negative Z. If I change it to both symmetric, so you would have the um, extrude from both uh, sides of the um, or direction of the sketch. And you can see that it's only one value because it's symmetric. The other option is that is both as asymmetric means that you would have two depths. You can change these lengths from this lengths. Okay. But here, for our example, that we are going to create this uh, cylinder, the length of the cylinder is 14.75 uh, inch, and it's in the normal direction. So we change it to normal direction, and it was, yeah, 75. 75. If I just generate the extrude, you will have the first cylinder. For the, the other cylinder, we have the same approach. Select a sketch 2, go to extrude, you would have another extrude. And for the geometry, just select a sketch 2, apply, add material because we don't want to change the material. And for normal, if you remember so we have uh, both let's say as a symmetry not as symmetry symmetric part because both lengths are equal to 14 so go back to geometry and change it to both symmetric and fix it as 14 so you can see the preview of the this length and if I just go generate so you would have the whole geometry here if you remember that we talked about um, parts and body so we have one part and of course one body because we just used add material and 
the default is Sully. That's only the name. You can change the name here by right click on that and then select rename. And also by clicking on Sully and here the body name is the let's say that for example water is the um, the medium just going through this system so we can change the name to water for example so you can see the uh, the name has been changed to water and also you can see that we have like a volume in a body it's a cell zone zone if you remember that for 2D rectangle we had a surface body because it was 2D and now we have a body I mean 3D body and again if you remember uh, from previous example that by clicking on the body you can also select the the type of the matter state which is solid or fluid we know that the water is uh, fluid so we can just select fluid and yeah that's it for creating the geometry and <clears throat> just don't forget to save it now it's saved close it going back to the workbench and you can see that now the mesh is ready to generate from that created geometry and then save the whole package the whole project Okay.